In the previous video, we learned how to change some of the default settings of SOLIDWORKS. And some of the changes we made include adding a few tools here to the Heads Up View toolbar. We eliminated some of the uh, tabs of the Command Manager to keep that as simple as possible. And we made some changes under the Options tool here. Now the changes we made to the Options tool were under the System Options. But when we have a part, a drawing, or an assembly open, we also have another tab here called Document Properties. And as the name implies, these settings apply only to the document that I'm working on right now. So for example, the first thing that comes up here under Drafting Standard is right now, we're in the ISO standard, which is typical for most European drawings. And I may want to change that to ANSI, American National Standards Institute, which is typical for most US drawings. And I can go ahead and click OK to apply that. Now as we said, that's a document uh, setting, so that applies only to the part that I'm be working on right now. If I open up a new part and look at the options here, you can see that we're back to ISO as the standard. Now, you were able to set that the first time you uh, opened up SOLIDWORKS. It asked you to choose a drafting standard in units. But uh, suppose you chose um, ISO and, and uh, SI units there, but you find out, especially working out of the book, that you uh, almost always work in ANSI and with US units. Well, instead of having to change this every time, you'd like to make changes that will, uh, that will apply every time you open a new part. Those settings are, are saved in what's called the part template. So we're going to make some changes and now we're going to save them to the template. Let's start out by changing this to ANSI. Let's go to dimensions and change, if this is not already, three decimal places. Let's show that as three decimal places. Further down, under grid snap, click on display grid, which is a good thing for new users to have because the uh, grid kind of reminds you that you're in the 2D sketching mode when it's active. Under units, let's change to inch, pounds, and seconds if it's not already that way. And also, uh, there's a second place where we change the precision. Let's make that 0.123. And for angles, because of the fact that they're usually not as precisely uh, prescribed, let's show the number of decimal places as the default here as none. All right, with those changes in place, I can now click OK. Before we save this, two other little changes. One, I want to turn off the Instant 3D if that's already on. That's a tool on the Features group of the Command Manager. We don't use that in the book at all. And also, I want to make the graphics area plain white by using the pull-down menu next to Apply Scene here and pick plain white. Okay, that looks the way I want it now. I go to File, Save As, and change Part, the type, to Part Templates the directory will automatically change over to the directory where the templates are stored for SOLIDWORKS and there'll be one there called part. You want to click that to select it and hit save. It'll ask if you want to replace it, you hit yes because what you've done is to overwrite the default part template. Okay, let's go ahead and do the same for a drawing. So let's go to a new drawing and we're prompted right away to choose a paper size. We're going to keep this uh, so that this comes up every time. I don't want to show any display, uh, any sheet format. So just click OK and go ahead and X out the, uh, close this window for the model view because we're not going to add uh, any drawing views uh, right now. Um, let's make a change just like we did with the uh, part the command manager. We want the view layout, annotation, and sketch to appear, but we can turn off the evaluate. Again, you can turn it back on very easily later if you need to, but most of the commands are on those three. And now let's go to the options. Under document properties, if this is not already at ANSI, you want to change it to ANSI. Under dimensions, let's change the primary precision to two decimal places here. And again, ignore this message that you've changed the overall drafting standard. Um, come down to Units. 
If inches, pounds, and seconds are, aren't already uh, selected, go ahead and make that change. Again, make this two decimal places, and for the angles, we'll go to none. Don't worry about the dual, the dual dimension uh, units here at all. Okay, one other change we want to make here is under detailing. And right now you can see I've got the center marks automatically created uh, for holes. I'd like to leave that the way it is, but I also want to put in center lines automatically so I don't have to add those uh, every time I bring in a new drawing view. And let's go ahead and click OK. And one other change we want to make is that I want to right click here and click on properties. And if we're showing the first angle projection, I want to change that to third angle, typical for US drawings, and click OK. All right, we've got everything the way we want it now. So we go to File, and Save As, and this time we'll pick Drawing Template. And you'll see, once again, that there's one already there under the Templates directory. I want to click and hit Save and once again we are writing over the default template. Okay, one more to do. Let's go to a new assembly. And so start out by uh, closing the begin assembly because we're not actually going to be bringing parts in here. Uh, as with the others, let's uh, right click here and I'm going to keep only the assembly and sketch uh, groups of the command manager. Let's change the uh, scene here to plain white and also under options document properties we'll go to ANSI again and the units as inch pounds and seconds. Uh, we can go ahead and send, change that length to point, uh, length tolerance to three decimal places as well. We don't add that many dimensions at the assembly level so those are less important but getting it into the IPS uh, is important. We'll go ahead and click OK and we'll save our assembly template. And that's all there is to it. So now every time you open up a new part drawing or assembly the settings that you want are already there and you don't have to waste a lot of time making those changes every time. One uh, word of caution here, the next time that you go to save a SolidWorks uh, file, you're going to find that the uh, directory here is still on the default directory where the templates are stored and that's usually not a place that you're going to want to store your drawings. So the next time you uh, save a drawing, make sure that it's to the directory that you want to save it.